Okay folks, so finally I'm gonna show you how to do the exact same thing but this time with Dojo. So our pattern, our steps, step number one, let's create an action in uh, in the controller. First, FMI student, our controller, index controller. We have already one jQuery application, pure Java. JavaScript application and also two services which will supply us with uh, HTML snippets and eventually with uh, JSON. Okay, I'm going back here to the mind map and the code is here in the Dojo brand branch. Just copy this and paste it here. Public function Dojo Ajax action. If you look at this, uh, these three methods, actually, you will see that they are absolutely the same. The only difference is in the view scripts, and the differences are very small. I'm going to show you that just in a second. Okay, so now we have created the Dojo Ajax action. Let's create the um, view script for it. We collapse this branch new that's PHP file and it should be PHTML and just don't want to forget this again and it should be called Dojo Ajax. Okay, create this. Let me copy the code from uh, Dojo Ajax PHTML in the mind map and uh, I'm gonna explain it a little bit. This is standard creation of an action in uh, Zen Framework 2. I just created an action in the controller. I'm creating now the view script for this action. And as I explained in the previous lections, we need so much code because we have to set up the CSS and we have to set up the um, title, the content type and all this kind of stuff. That's that's the reason. And here it is how the layout looks and we have to prepare all this uh, view helpers. The values for all these view helpers. The most important uh, the most important here are this line I'm gonna show you now this line where I'm loading from the CDN network I'm loading Dojo Dojo JavaScript and the next line where actually I'm loading my JavaScript application the rest is just the same like in the previous uh, tutorials also I want to attract your attention to this line where I'm setting one global variable in a JavaScript namespace called base URL. I'm going to use it in a JavaScript and um, I'm giving a value which comes from base path view helper in Zen. Okay, this is the only important things here, Dojo Ajax. Let's see how actually the application works. So, step number one create one action in your controller step number three uh, two create a view script for this action and I showed you the most important lines here deliver your toolbox first to the page after that do whatever you have to do and uh, before beforehand of course the base URL is set so you can properly uh, connect to the server now step number three is just create a JavaScript application module it's in a public FMI student JavaScript and as you can guess it's called Dojo Ajax JavaScript let me create it JavaScript oops I would rather type it <laughs> it's ridiculous Dojo 
ajax dot javascript i hope i didn't make any mistakes dot ajax create and now i'm gonna copy the content from my javascript file from my mind map Now I'm using AMD uh, asynchronous module definition. Actually, Dojo is using AMD, and I'm gonna try to explain a little bit. So they don't even define one namespace in Dojo. Of course, I think that Dojo is reserved for them, but look at here. Require Dojo Doom. Dojo on, Dojo request, XHR, Dojo doom ready. And here, as arguments, we get these functions, those objects, which are actually functions doom, doom, on, and XHR. So, what we do is we actually connect our element, which has ID box 3. Let me show you this in the layout. Where is the layout? Hopefully I didn't close it. No, I didn't. So here it is how how it looks. Our element actually it's a diff tag box tree. So we're getting this element from the Doom tree here. And we say on event click execute this event handler xhr base url this is where we use this global variable fmi student service ajax we call this method and then function data we again say doom by d box 3 inner html data we replace the content of box 3 with whatever call comes from the server and here I didn't implement these functions which are function error and function event handle the progress event uh, from the request we don't need that so it's uh, pretty simple it's again simple as uh, jQuery jQuery is the simplest one of course but this one also is uh, is very simple compared to the pure JavaScript where we have to type a lot. Okay, so let me save this. We have done the three steps: action in the controller, view script which correlates to this action, and loads the JavaScript file. Of course, first loads the jo uh, the Dojo file, the Dojo library. After that, our own file which is using Dojo and that's it three steps let me do again git add go check after adding and moving to the staging area all these files refreshing Okay. Well, uh, you always can go back and look at the previous two uh, videos just to see how I'm doing this uh, with pure JavaScript and uh, jQuery. If you're in doubt, so status. Okay, let me look at now. Dojo Ajax PHTML. This is what I was. Uh, doing wrong in the jQuery movie now I hope uh, I did it properly PHTML Dojo Ajax JavaScript this is our JavaScript application which actually um, turns back to the server and gets the data from there and the index controller where we have one new action which loads our application okay our Ajax application so let's say commit Dojo Ajax this is how I'm gonna call it 
I'm gonna push to Zend and check if it works. Okay, refreshing. Come on, we see it in real time. Let me make sure that I saved all the files. Okay, and now we have uh, nothing to commit now. Nothing to commit working directory clean, so let's push it to our Zend development server. Successfully pushed. Projects, okay. So here it is as a comparison our JavaScript application, pure JavaScript application, our jQuery application, and the exact same thing now we have done, oops, exact same thing we have done with Dojo, and the difference is only here, I'm gonna say Dojo Ajax. Okay, and hopefully it works, on click, yeah, it works as you can see, Dojo Ajax. So what I'm doing, in other words, is on click, I turn back to the server using JavaScript. I'm getting the data and I'm replacing the content of the element which has ID box tree. Okay, so let me refresh here. Again, let me show you that. So only the event handler here is attached to the event um, on mouse over with the pure Java or JavaScript. As you can see here, we have a defect. Actually, the image stays there. It depends on where I uh, mouse over. I can fix that. Let me try over the cap and see what happens. Nothing. Okay, here we have jQuery and the event is click. Whatever I click here on the cap or on the title or in the paragraph, it gets replaced. And this is done with Dojo. So that's it, folks. Hopefully, that's uh, helpful. Thank you for your attention. Bye.